Governor Stitt, last weekend about this time, I uncovered some data. CNN had uh, posted it up. They had kept track of what happened in every state as far as how many people were diagnosed with uh, COVID-19 virus and how many had died. Well, when I ran the numbers, how many amongst those who are verified as having this, uh, this virus, how many are dying? And the numbers didn't make Oklahoma look good. In fact, it made us look pretty bad. We had the fourth highest death rate amongst those who are verified um, uh, patients uh, stricken with the COVID virus flu. So <clears throat> I published that. Oh my goodness. That article went all over. I mean, it in all kinds of circles. And the heat that I'm sure fell on this man, or Governor Kevin Stitt, was pretty difficult. And a number of people rightly said, as I did, that it's because we aren't testing hardly anyone. In fact, we were rationing, saving those tests for the very worst cases. And I understand there's a reason to do that. But it also, in my hope is, that it also empowered Governor Stitt to make his case to the federal government that we need more tests here. Because there's, by the time we test them, they're probably so far downhill on their health that they've got a higher chance of dying. We need to start testing earlier. And so middle of this week, uh, Governor Stitt was able to announce that we've gotten in quite a few test kits and now anybody who reaches uh, uh, a fever of uh, what 100.4 or higher and has you know symptoms consistent, uh, yes, don't withhold it from any of them. He's telling all the uh, county health department workers. So, so we've got good news on that. Uh, we are able to get more tests. Yes, we are confirming a lot more people uh, with this uh, with this condition.